Hey there ladies and gentlemen, Jens Davidson here again. Gonna do another cast iron cooking video. This is gonna be a real simple one, just an egg on an English muffin. And I'm using this little baby cast iron lodge that I bought and sanded last fall, I think. Maybe summer, I don't remember exactly when. But this thing is absolutely perfect for cooking up an egg for an English muffin. So I'm going to use canola oil because I like the light sort of buttery flavor that I get from it. Um, just, yeah, for size reference, I mean, this thing is a little bitty guy. I love it. I, uh, I sanded this, seasoned it, but not, I didn't take it all the way to black like I did on, um, my three notch lodge over there on the other burner but it works beautifully and uh, it looks pretty good too so let's get this thing heated up my burner goes up to like setting number seven is high and I'm gonna set it to a little over half that number four here this thing already has some oil on there because I used it the last two days and I didn't bother cleaning the oil off because as you can clearly see there's really nothing stuck to it so it's fine so let this be yet another demonstration to the, to the doubting Thomases out there who think that this method doesn't work for for uh, frying an egg on a cast iron skillet. I'm going to get an English muffin in my toaster oven and get this thing heating up. Obviously. And because it is small, the handle is obviously going to get pretty hot. We're going to use this guy. Just enough oil to thoroughly coat the bottom of it. And Cooking an egg is obviously technique as well as equipment. If I put the egg on there when the oil is cold, yeah, it probably would stick, but you need to have that oil good and hot when you add the egg on there so that it sort of sears immediately and doesn't uh, just displace the oil and the egg protein sticks to the iron. Because if I tried to cook an egg on, frankly, any skillet, even if it's a Teflon coated skillet without putting uh, any kind of an oil or butter or something on there, it's going to stick. Believe me, I've tried. So once I start seeing any sign of oil uh, smoke coming off of there, then we'll go ahead and put an egg on. This is where it's somewhat convenient to have a black stove top. It's easier to see the smoke. It looks like we're there. Salt and pepper on there. And 
I'm just keeping an eye on my watch. I'll have the egg on there for about 90 seconds, and then we'll flip it. Let's go ahead and reduce the heat now that we're coming up on our 90 second mark. Reducing the heat down to setting 2 on my burner here. And we'll go ahead and flip. Absolutely perfect. And we're just going to cook about 30 seconds on this side. Because it's time to get our English muffin buttered up. And I'm going to turn the burner off. Let the residual heat cook it a little bit more. Probably doesn't need it, but it's fine. This is the part where it would be nice if I had Canadian bacon, which I don't. Cheese would have been good too. Don't have that either. That's on me. I could do this without burning myself. There you have it. I mean, these are slightly large English muffins, but it's beautiful. Take a bite out of this bad boy. Perfectly cooked. Absolutely perfect. Just two minutes. Alright, thanks for watching. I gotta finish eating lunch. Shouldn't talk with my mouth full. Take care, please like and subscribe and observe how clean the skillet is. There's your little fried egg test. Cheers.